What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the uh, the San Jose Sharks shipping Ryan Clo to the New York Rangers in exchange of two second round picks and a third. Uh, one of the second round picks is conditional on either Clo re-signing with the Blue Shirts or uh, winning two playoff series. If they do neither, the uh, the pick becomes a fifth rounder. So you know, pretty good deal. I don't see where exactly it fits under the Rangers, and I'll tell you why. He hasn't scored a goal this year, and they're a team that struggled to score. I mean, kind of like the same thing with Clo going to the Bruins. You really don't need a guy that's struggling to score on a team that's struggling to score. It just compounds the issue, I think. Uh, you can always make the change of scenery argument, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, the Rangers need to make a desperate move. They're in the eighth spot right now with 37 points. I had them as, you know, one of the favorites in the East, and, you know, Pittsburgh's run away and hid with that title. But, um, you know, I think that's one thing going forward that, you know, the Rangers want to solidify their position in the Eastern Conference playoff race, definitely be able to move up. I mean, the the East is nowhere near as crowded as the West is, but, you know, it's still a tough thing. Uh, you know, they're tied with the Islanders right now. they got a game at hand. That's how they get in the eighth spot. But, you know, the New York Rangers, you know, with the, all the expectations they had, don't want to be tied with the Islanders, you know, with 11 games to go. I understand it's a shortened season, but still, he, this is what Rangers hockey's all about. Especially a team, like I said, that went out and acquired Rick Nash, built a you know great team on a team that was, went to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. It was number one seed in the East. Um, you know, the, the, pl playing for a tie with the Islanders is what you want, and they're uh, two points behind the Devils with the game at hand. So you know you don't want to be sandwiched between both teams in your metropolitan area. Uh, you, you know you want to be the beast of the East. You know I, they're not, they're not going to catch Pittsburgh for the division mathematically. I don't think they can. Um, but you know it's what it is with that. But I, I like what Cloak do. I think he fits that mold pretty well in terms of what they want. But like I said, it's just he's not scoring, and the teams had trouble scoring. I know they won a good one last night against Winnipeg. But uh, you know he brings some grit and tenacity. He's a guy that's had you know 50, 60 points in the past. I, I like his game. I think he fits what Tortorella wants, you know, in terms of being grit, you know, having the tenacity, bringing sandpaper on night in, night out basis. But like I said, if you're not scoring, you know, how, how do you help a team that's not scoring? I mean, to, to sound overly uh, moronic, you know, I, I, I'm not totally sold in this move. I think he probably, I don't think he would help the Bruins that much. I think they made the right move acquiring Yaga. They needed skill, not sandpaper. And I know I don't think Sather would take Yager back on a bet. I think Sather would take back Theo Fleury before he took back Yarmir Yager. Um, but, you know, I guess they're hoping he can catch fire. And he's had 62 points. That was his career high. And he's had 100 penalty minutes. Like I said, the sandpaper, you know, at times offensive production. So we'll see how it works out. I'm, I'm very curious to see how he does with the Rangers going forward, how the adjustment from San Jose to New York is. A, that's a big move both distance and in terms of culture, in terms of hockey. I know they've had some great teams in San Jose, but, you know, this is Broadway. This is a team that this year was supposed to win the Stanley Cup, you know, was supposed to win the Stanley Cup last year. And, you know, went out and acquired a superstar in Rick Nash, and he really hasn't lived up to expectations. And the big thing is, you know, if they fail to make a long playoff run, Tortorella's out of a job. You heard that here first. But uh, anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the New York Rangers acquiring Ryan Clough from the San Jose Shocks. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.